Hey everyone, welcome to the Easy 104 Exam Prep series. Now, friends, few days back or some time back, Microsoft replaced the Azure Active Directory concept with a newer concept that is called Microsoft Entro ID. Now, needless to say that this concept, the newer concept, Microsoft Entro ID, still baffles a lot of us in the Easy 104 exam. And actually, not just the Easy 104 exam, it also is an important component of Easy 900, the fundamental exam. And because it's a newer concept, you will not get many questions on this on the open internet. And that's why I have collected some latest and very important questions on Microsoft Intro ID. That's exactly what we are going to discuss in this Easy 104 prep series. So with the focus on Microsoft Entra, let's pick the very first question for today. Question number 151, part 25. Now the question is asking you that which choice correctly describes the Microsoft Entra ID. The option A is Microsoft Entra ID can be queried through LDAP. Option B is Microsoft Entra ID is primarily an identity solution. And lastly, option C, Microsoft Entra ID uses organizational units and group policy objects. And the correct answer or the correct definition that correctly describes Microsoft Entra ID is option B. Microsoft Entra ID is primarily an identity solution. Now, before we take more questions on Microsoft Entra, it all makes sense to understand it properly so that you can answer the questions coming up more accurately. And to begin with, here you can see Azure Active Directory, Azure AD is now Microsoft Entra. So Microsoft Entra has replaced the concept of Azure Active Directory. Now you can see that the Microsoft Entra helps you secure the access for the connected world. And it also helps you protect any identity and secure access to any resource with a family of multi-cloud identity and network access solutions. Now also my friends on the very documentation you can also understand what are the few areas where you can use Microsoft Entra ID. So first of all Microsoft Entra ID helps you secure access to any app or resource from anywhere and then it helps you to protect and verify every identity and thirdly it provides only access that is necessary and lastly it simplifies the user experience. And then my friends on the same documentation if you want you can see this demo here to understand Microsoft Entra in a little bit better way. And now let's explore what is the Microsoft Entra product family. So here you can see that we have three categories here. The first one is identity and access management. Second one is new identity categories. And thirdly we have network access. So the identity and access management it has the Microsoft Entra ID. Of course it is formally known as Azure Active Directory. And then you can also understand about the Microsoft Entra ID governance, Microsoft Entra external ID and also Microsoft Entra domain services. Then in this category which is the new identity categories here we have Microsoft Entra verified ID. Microsoft Entra Permissions Management and then Microsoft Entra Workload ID. And in the last category, which is the Network Access, here we have Microsoft Entra Internet Access and lastly Microsoft Entra Private Access. So please go through all these documentation, all these links and learn more about the Microsoft Entra ID as it is the latest concept which replaces the older Azure Active Directory. You will see a lot of questions around Microsoft Entra ID in the AZ104. Then on the same documentation, you can discover the total economic impact of Microsoft Entra ID. So some numbers are thrown to you by Microsoft. All you can read here, you can also read the study. You can also calculate the benefits of Entra ID. So of course, my friends, you can read all this documentation, but I would like to summarize Microsoft Entra ID for you. So Microsoft Entra ID is preliminary and identity solution that we read here and it is designed for internet based applications by using HTTP and HTTP protocol communications. Now let's take a step forward and go to the question number 152. Question is saying that you have a Microsoft Entra tenant that contains 5000 user accounts. Now you create a new user account named admin user one and you need to assign the user administrator administrative role to admin one user. What should you do from the user account properties and your options are option A from the groups blade invite the user account to a new group then option B from the directory role blade modify the directory role and then option C from the licenses blade assign a new license. The correct answer for this question is option B from the directory role blade you have to modify the directory role. Okay, so now let's validate the answer on this documentation which is titled as associate or add an Azure subscription to your Microsoft Intra tenant and that's exactly what we're trying to achieve in the question as well. 
So first of all, as this article begins, you can read all about the intro ID and then you can read all the prerequisite for this intro ID before you begin that you can read here and you can understand all the steps that you need to follow. Then as a very first and major step, you can see that you have to sign in using the Azure account that has an owner role assignment and you can also see it should be existing in both the current directory and the new directory. And lastly, you have to make sure that you are not using Azure cloud service provider subscription. Then my friends, the real step starts here where you can see that we have to associate a subscription to a directory. And what are the major steps here? First of all, you have to sign into the Azure portal using the owner role assignment for the subscription. Then browse the subscription. Then you can select the name of the subscription, of course, that you want to use and then select the directory. Let me try if I can zoom this image a little bit more so that you can see it better. So here you can see this image here. Here you can see this change directory option given here. And once we press this change directory, you can see all these warnings coming here. You have to change the directory. Once you're done with that, then you have to switch the directories on the subscription page to go to the new directory. So please check out all the documentation. Links are given in the description box. So that was the validation for our question number 152. Now let's move ahead. Question number 153 says that the Microsoft intro ID includes federation services, including third party services. And you have to tell whether this statement is true. Yes or no. And yes, my friends, this statement is true. That's why yes is the correct answer. Moving on, question number 154 says that an identity defines a dedicated and trusted instance of Microsoft intro ID. Yes or no, once again. But this time, my friends, this statement given here is wrong. That's why no is the correct answer. But then just so you understand that the identity is an object that can be authenticated and also an identity can be a user with the username and the password and identities can also include applications and the other servers that might require authentication through the secret keys or the certificates. But then if this statement is not true, what is the correct answer? Let's find out in the next question. Question number 155. The question is saying that the Azure tenant defines a dedicated and the trusted instance of Microsoft intro ID. Yes or no? And yes, my friends, this is the correct statement. That's why yes is the correct answer. And just to elaborate, a tenant is a dedicated and trusted instance of Microsoft intro ID. And a tenant is automatically created when an organization signs up for the Microsoft Cloud Services subscription. And friends, let me tell you one thing. These questions that we attended today, these are just the beginning. In the future or the subsequent parts, I will bring some more questions on Microsoft Intro ID so that you understand this concept really well and are able to crack the questions in AZ104 exam and not just AZ104, AZ900 as well. And of course, as always, in case you have some feedbacks, suggestions, questions, do let me know in the comment section or reach me at connect us at the rate the techblackboard.com and please read our blogs and you can also consider joining the community membership for all the pdf files with the question and answer on all the exam series on amazon aws and microsoft azure and that's it for today i will see you in the next video till then stay fit keep learning and thanks for watching